It is currently the 29th of August, 2020. We have severe tropical storm Maisak located towards the east of the Philippines. And this storm is continuing to intensify. Now a severe tropical storm by the Japan Meteorological Agency. But in 12 to 24 hours, I would not be surprised if this is already a typhoon. It is rapidly intensifying because it is an area for favorable development. In fact, sea surface temperatures out here are exceptionally warm. It's just fuel for a fire. We're also looking at decent outflow you can see that here on visible satellite imagery that flow towards the north and towards the south plus you have decent moisture inflow uh these are just all little ingredients you throw into the soup of typhoon making that does make uh it continue to gain intensity I want to talk about where this storm system is going and why but first let's just show you the forecast right off the bat here because winds right now according to jtwc 55 gusting to 70 knots they do have a typhoon uh in the forecast in less than 12 hours this is going to continue to intensify moving towards the north passing just towards the west of okinawa honto that includes all the military out there on the island uh the tour passing towards the west would not be fantastic news that's what happened with bobby it was a little bit offshore but this is looking like it's going to pass just right around naha which would put that area in the right front quadrant that would be uh for all intents and purposes the worst possible track to pass the island now i'm not saying it would bring catastrophic damage or anything like that but if you want to talk about a typhoon hitting the island and bringing sustained winds that would definitely relocate a k car across the island uh this is the type of track that would take place now there is a bit of uncertainty about how close it will get is always important to note because if you remember um tropical systems have a very tight wind field in that inner core yes overall they are very expansive for the tropical storm conditions but when we're talking about the max winds it is rather tight and we're talking about island forecasting if those max winds stay offshore you do miss it hopefully it stays a little bit further uh, towards the west where you miss that core of the winds and this is what i want to show you here this is the overall background flow just kind of gives you an idea that there is a lack of steering flow where this is right now which is why uh the extended forecast does kind of bring it west of the island some of them bring it towards the east of the island because each model is picking up on a little bit of a different initialization with this steering flow now if it was over here yes overall it would just cruise with that flow but since it's here you kind of have to imagine it moving towards the north there is a tut a tropospheric upper level trough located over here a high over here and an upper level trough actually over here so actually i'll show you this on visible satellite imagery you can see it a little more clear okinawa being right here here's your tut located right there your high up here and then that trough digging in out of eastern china right there so what's going to happen is it's going to want to kind of first move towards this tut which is also going to help advance intensification before turning towards the northwest rounding this high pressure ridge located right in there so the interaction between these two and how quickly intensifies is really going to dictate how close this does get to the island so i'll show you what everybody wants to see after we take a look at this analysis that is what the numerical guidance is saying first this is the gfs ensemble now remember as i said the, the models initialize a little bit differently since we don't have hurricane reconnaissance like the hurricane hunters in the western pacific uh the sometimes it initializes quite uh, in a wide variability here and you can see that here with the ensemble actually some of these uh, pulling it well towards the east some of it pulling just towards the south of okinawa hunto this particular one actually moves right over the island the ecmwf though has been uh, in a tight consensus just towards the west of the island with uh jma the canadian model NAFGEM, all been kind of pulling it towards the west so what that tells me is that the numerical guidance is kind of agreeing on this more westward track just towards the west of okinawa honto uh take a look at this ecmwf by your uh, shoot, this would be by Monday night into Tuesday morning, uh, bringing these typhoon conditions to there and then eventually moving off further towards the north. Like I said, there is a bit of a variability and even if it does differ by 50 to 100 miles uh, in the extended forecast, it would make a, a big difference. Here's the GFS, though, so zoomed in. You had Okinawa right here and let's just take a look ahead. This is by Monday night into Tuesday morning, passing just south of the island between Miyakojima, which is located right 
right there and Naha. Like I said, that core of the winds, that's this tight gradient right there. And this particular model run from the GFS, actually, if you live here in the center portion of the island, let's say around Cadena, um, this would be tropical storm strength winds. You would miss out on the core of the winds if this situation came to pass which is why you have to continue to check in. We have 72 hours before this does happen uh, or does not happen. But uh, it, uh, it, there's confidence that it is going to impact somewhere between Miyakojima and Okinawa Honto. That exact line, and if it does change a little bit, could mean a large population gets impacted or no one really feels the core of these winds. That's really the end point I'm trying to get across here. So here's the, th the advice I want to give people that... Uh, are on the island though now is the time to prepare don't wait to the last second ensure light objects are secure um the other thing is park your car downwind of a building so if it does pass towards the southwest of the island you want to park your car on the north end of a large building to ensure your car doesn't get blown away most of the buildings are secure cars unless you tie it down it, it could get tossed a bit if you do get the core of these winds charge your batteries uh, a battery bank is always smart have water available and the other thing is like i mentioned the island is built for uh typhoons reinforced concrete shatterproof windows are the standard on okinawa honto thanks to very strict uh building codes so stay inside until the storm does pass my advice to uh you anyways i'm gonna continue to post updates on this uh right now th the main thing is that there will be a tropical system now how high the intensity is uh, that's still up for debate, but this storm is going to continue to intensify. Uh, it is going to bring at least typhoon strength gusts to the island. Uh, beyond that, though, uh, still some question marks, but uh, it's, it's definitely a very... Um, it has that look on satellite imagery that this is going to intensify into a pretty decent beast of a storm. So, yeah, we're going to keep an eye on it, guys. Um, let me know if you have any questions. Today was a pretty long update because I'm just kind of digging into uh, why things happen. My next few updates, I'll probably just give you the base facts. So, yeah, stay safe out there.